Yo, what's going on guys? Me Beckinator, and welcome to a little video that I just want to let you guys know what I've been up to. Basically, all today I've been working on this. Again, it is like midday, so I really spent about 2-3 hours maybe max, which probably isn't that good because of the fact that I didn't even edit that much stuff. But basically guys, I edited a new texture pack and I did not make this whole thing guys. This is a faithful edit and it's even more than that. I it's a faithful edit that I er, the, before I edited it. It was a faithful edit with clear GUI and low fire. I can show you guys this. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I did not plan that through. Oh no, run, jump into the water. Okay, so that that's that's kind of awkward, honestly. But so yeah, I basically took that and edited everything that you guys can see up there. Okay, so I finally made it up here, and I kind of wish I brought some golden apples, but good thing I have some actually over over there that I can I can eat later. But this is basically just some of the stuff I edited. I don't know if this is all, but I'm pretty sure this is most of it. First off, as you guys can tell, I do have colored string. That way, when I do break string or stuff like that, I can actually see it. So like boom, place it, I can place it that way. Now I can see string, which is very useful for making cactus farms, traps, derps, anything like that that involves string. It's nice to know where it's actually at. As well as I did edit, sorry for the little bit of lag there guys. As well as I did edit the diamond ore. This is the only ore I've edited so far. I hopefully want to do this to every single one of them. But all I did was add these little corners to them. And basically it just, it just literally makes it easier to see during like UHC or... You know, just hardcore factions or anything like that. That's just useful to know where diamonds and stuff are. And if you guys want a tutorial on how I actually made all this, just comment that, you know, you want to see it. Stuff like that. Like the video. And if this video gets a lot of comments saying that, I'll show you guys. It's very simple. There's many tutorials. I literally just, like, followed one, changed it up a little bit, and this is how I did all this. But a second thing you guys also know right off the bat is I have blue hearts, guys. I have... Bright blue hearts, if you guys do not understand or know, my favorite color is blue, so I did make my hearts blue. They're really texturized, very cool. And as well as my hop bar, guys, as you guys can see, that is a red outline along where I'm scrolling. That is just so I know exactly which one I'm on. I didn't want to make it all red, but I just wanted to make the little inside of it red. That way I could actually see where I'm scrolling and just an easier way to look down and know right where I'm on. As well as I did do clearer water, guys. Obviously, it's not as textured as the normal water, but... It's clear, I can see basically right through it, which is useful. Like, look at you guys can see it over there. I can see right through it, which is useful for finding underwater bases and factions or just looking for stuff underwater. As well, if I go in it, guys, it is a lot, like, it's enough to where you can tell that you're underwater, but not, like, too much to where you can't see through it, guys. It is very see-through, and that's the way I wanted it. The only thing I want that I haven't changed it is I want rainbow... It, XP bars, but it is so hard to get rainbow XP bars guys It's like there's so many little pixels in here that you have to change that in my opinion It's not even worth it right now one more thing before I get to the swords and stuff is if you guys can see in the chest I did put like little question marks if I like open and log out really fast You guys can see that I did put a white like question mark in there I don't know why I just thought I put it in there It's not the best looking one, but I thought it looked cool so I'd put it in there. Unfortunately, I did not do that for the double chests or trap chests yet. But I will fix that later on. I'm just going to throw these stuff out. Okay, now to the stuff that I'm most proud of, which are the golden apples, guys. They're blue golden apples, and they just honestly, they look amazing. How I mean, I liked the golden apples normally, but in this cool blue kind of, I'll zoom in on it right here. They're kind of blue. They ha I left the white there. I changed the blue around, made it look all oh, just so much more cooler than I probably would have ever thought them to look like. And so I'm gonna eat one now. That thing I and I did leave the absorption hearts yellow just so I knew what hearts I had that were absorption. But this is just basically you know what it looks like. And there's just another normal one, not god apple, just normal golden apple. Same thing. Little blue particles come off of it and everything. I did not change any of the particles yet or explosions. I do plan on doing that though. Another thing right here is the arrow. I okay, so another thing I did was the blue arrow and I am going to zoom in on it for you guys. But basically what it is is I just made it blue and a lot more cooler in my opinion. If you guys can't tell my favorite color is blue. And so I just made a nice awesome cool blue arrow and I just think it looks amazing. Again, I'm going to put that back over here. And now it's time to get to the swords guys. The swords... 
for the very first scenes I did, so they are kind of a little newbie, but in my opinion, they're probably like one of the main reasons I did this, because I do like Minecraft swords, but I like the, the texture packs to make them look more like flat on the top, like I don't know what you would you call them, like samurai swords, I guess, I know it's kind of stereotypical, but first off, for the wooden one, I didn't change that much, obviously I did that, and one thing I did also is, here, if I put it in this chest, I'm going to zoom in on it, and I'm probably not going to be able to show you guys, but here, maybe, like, very, on the very end right there, normally they go out to a tip on the corner right here, but I just made it in one because I thought it looked cooler. I did that for all the swords, and I just think the wood one, I left it kind of simple. I did also, though, detail it more, like, on the actual sword part, instead of just having one line up, I have three different colored lines going up on every side, just giving it extra detail, making it look awesome as always. And then for the stone one, I put a little bit, I did the same thing, in my opinion, this is probably one of my favorites, because just because, you know, I did the three different colors on all of them, by the way, where they all fade from three different colors. But the stone one, the colors just all make it look amazing. I have red, I actually decided to put red by it, because I thought the iron and stone are kind of like night times, old fashioned times, and they normally had... A little red scene in the middle. I don't know what it is. I'm maybe it's a ribbon or gem or something. I don't know. But I put it there just because I thought it looked cool. And again, the slanted scene and the curved corners. Those are the typical terms, technical terms. And then I have my iron sword, which I also like a whole lot. Same thing, red. The red one's a little bit more detailed in this one. Again, I'm going to zoom in on all these for you guys, so you guys can see what they all look like. Honestly, I love them so much. And then to the gold, and guys, I also did change the bottom of them too. I made it more of a brighter color, like by the bottom of the handle. And then the gold one, I didn't really change it a whole lot. I did put a little gray dot in the middle though. I'll hopefully zoom in on it. But I did put a little gray dot in the middle just because, you know, I thought it looked cool and I thought, why not? And then the diamond sword. This is the very first one I ever edited, so it's. I'm sorry if it's not the best. In my opinion, I still like it a whole lot though. Basically, I'll zoom in on it again, but basically I just put a really bright gem in the middle of it, which is diamond color, and then had the three different colors all fading out, and I just think it looks awesome. And then last but not least, guys, I did edit the diamond axe. I haven't edited stone, iron, gold, or anything, because I don't really use axes that much. I only use them when they're diamond for PvP, because it wrecks armor. And I didn't really change a whole lot on this, guys. You guys probably can't even tell what I changed. I just made the like very tip where you'd like actually hit wood or something with it. I made that more of a diamond color as well as I did I added a nice little shine to it like the little white and gray little pixels over there and I just kind of moved everything back by a little bit and I made it look good as well as the stick that's holding the axe. I detailed it like I did my wooden sword so very nice and detailed axe and I just love it so so much. So yeah guys, I think that's pretty much it. Obviously I haven't edited a whole lot, but I just edited the main stuff that I really wanted to change on my texture pack, and I honestly just love it how it is right now. I don't see me ever changing this for a while now, but I think that's going to be the end of the video. So if you're going to the video, make sure to leave a like, and as always, I will see you guys when I see you guys. Peace.